Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. The frame rate is really low. Hold on. There, it's better now. Um, I've already gotten rid of my Pikachu as you can see. And I lost my data so I had to do all of that over again. And I failed at nicknaming AJ. He's now just A. That's kind of depressing, but most of the data is the same. There's not much difference. Anyways, um, yeah, so we're just going to make our way up through Nugget Bridge. And I'm probably going to cut out all of this battle scene and every other battle scene because it takes up too much time. Okay. Really wish the turbo mode went faster. My Butterfree's pretty tank, you can just pretty much kill anything. Like I said, Butterfree's a useful uh, tool in the early stages because he uses a really powerful psychic attack. Which as you have probably noticed is really, really useful. And I died. Great. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, you come up here and fight this rocket guy. They shouldn't give you that much trouble. And you come up and talk to this guy and he'll give you a Charmander. And take this TN. Okay. Just to make sure that you guys know. There are a few people here who you should not fight. Do not fight that trainer right there. Do not fight him. Also, do not fight him either. Anybody else is fair game. And we can get rid of tackle for super for supersonic. Let's figure out what it does. Nothing? Great. probably start training with my other Pokemon since my Butterfree is like level 18 and everyone else is 10 or below or like 15 or below I suppose
Oh my. <sighs> this is taking a lot longer than it should. And my Nitto Ram has evolved into a Nidorino. There's no real advantage of keeping him a Nidorino, so for now we're just gonna use a Moonstone and evolve him. There's no advantage to keeping him as a Nidorino. There, now we have a tank poison ground Pokemon. We go up here. And we talk to Bill. And he basically just gives you an SSAM cruise ticket or whatever the frigate is and then you can go down here all the way down here and go through this building this guy is annoying as hell and he'll give you dig I should have seen that one coming. Now. Go back up through this house and come down here to get an Abra. And here's our Abra. Just put him to sleep. And he should be an easy catch. And there we go. We've got our Abra. And we can just call him as many A's as you want. Okay. So, we're going to deposit A and withdraw A. Alright, so guys, before you do this Mew trick, I suggest you save. Okay. Walk down and hit start. You go to your Pokemon, and you teleport away. There. Now the game recognizes that there should have been a battle there. Go here and fight him. And his shelter will provide the seed for a Mew. Don't ask me how it works because I have no fucking clue. 
Now, walk back up to the root. And the start menu should appear right here without you pressing it. Now, as soon as you hit B, be prepared to catch a mute. Keep in mind this is done completely legit and without cheat codes. He will always be level 7 though. And with my luck I'm not going to be able to catch him. So I'm going to switch to my Charmander and scratch him a couple times. Get his health down lower. All he knows is Pound. So switch back to your Butterfree and put him back to sleep. Uh, if he wakes up again anyways. And now he should be easier to catch. And once again with my luck I didn't catch him. So anyways, that's one Mew. Um, so I guess I'm just going to kill him. So, you guys can go ahead and catch him. I, I can't, because I didn't stock up on Pokeballs. So make sure you do that before you fight Mew. I, I probably should have stocked up on Pokeballs first, but I didn't, so... 23 Pokeballs is the most I can possibly get right now, so... I do want to catch at least one meal. There's no, there's really no need for me to have two. Okay. And... Once again... Save here. And go down and hit st oh, I'm I goofed it. Hold on guys. Okay, so yeah, if uh if you uh mess up on your timing, just restart your game and you really don't want to battle that guy, you just wanna do this little glitch here. Now, here's the most commonly known way to get Mew. This fellow right here. Come all the way up to the top and battle him. This slow poke always gives me some uh, trouble. Now just uh, teleport away. I'm gonna go heal my Pokemon. You can do as you can do whatever you want during the glitch, but you cannot open your start menu. It will not work. Oh, maybe it will. Well, I guess I oh, I guess I didn't do it wrong. It's you're not supposed to be able to open your start menu. Anyways, and here comes a Mew. So there's your second Mew. Anyways, oh shit. I'm so glad that didn't kill him. Sleep powder it is. And now we can just mass Pokeball. Okay, so I just caught Mew. Uh, you guys might have two by now. I suggest you try until you get two because it's really awesome you can get three Mews. It's pretty cool. Um,
move. Okay, so yeah, that's how you get two Mews. Uh, this video is crazy long. I will see you guys in episode 7.